At Fort Collins Utilities, our water resource engineers work to ensure we have a reliable water supply, which includes planning for the future. The possibility of drought, along with wildfires, floods, and other water supply disruptions will continue to be a reality for us. But our water supply and demand management policy guides how we prepare for these situations. Our water customers are doing their part to minimize future water demand. Since 2000, they've reduced per person water use by 33%, which is huge. And while water conservation is critical to reducing overall water demand, it doesn't replace the need for additional water storage. In order to fully utilize our water supply, water storage is needed to shift the supply from high flow months to low flow months and from wet years to dry years. On average, two thirds of the runoff on the Poudre River occurs during May and June. And without storage, we can't carry the extra water over to the drier months or years. We currently own very little water storage, about 7,100 acre feet. That's a lot less than other communities along the Front Range. For reference, an average single family home uses about one third of an acre foot of water a year. Without adequate storage, our future customers will be vulnerable to interruptions in water availability. For more than a decade, we've been researching the best options to provide added resiliency and flexibility to our water supply system. And we believe the most environmentally responsible and cost-effective solution is to increase the capacity of Halligan Reservoir. Located 25 miles northwest of Fort Collins, Halligan Reservoir sits on the North Fork of the Poudre River. It was originally built in 1909 and currently provides water for the North Pooter Irrigation Company. To increase storage on Halligan Reservoir, we would raise the current 70-foot dam by about 25 feet to create an additional 8,100 acre feet of storage, more than doubling the city's total owned storage capacity. While all water supply projects have impacts, the best projects are designed to balance impacts and environmental benefits. The Halligan Water Supply Project is a great example of this. Enlarging an existing dam generally results in fewer environmental impacts than building a new one. Additionally, Halligan Reservoir will be gravity fed and no pumping will be required to fill the reservoir. By using a gravity fed project, no additional greenhouse gases will be emitted during operations which aligns with the city's climate action goals. We're also committed to protecting the Poudre River, and this project is a great opportunity to do that. Currently, 22 miles of the North Fork, downstream of Halligan Reservoir, runs dry in spots due to existing diversion structures and current reservoir operations. This results in an unhealthy river habitat. The Halligan Project will provide minimum flows to the river year-round, which will restore the river and create healthier conditions for aquatic species. Water storage projects of this magnitude also have economic impacts, but of all the options considered, this project is the most cost-effective water supply solution. Based on preliminary cost estimates, the Halligan Water Supply Project will cost approximately $75 million, including permitting, design, construction, and mitigation. Our initial cost estimates indicate the project will be less than $10,000 per acre foot of water, which is up to eight times less than other water sources along the Front Range. It's important to note that due to the ever-changing nature of a project like this, costs will continue to change and likely increase as more information is obtained. So what's next? Projects of this type and scale can't move forward without approval from the lead permitting agency, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The permitting process is often very lengthy, sometimes decades long, as it has been for us. This is because the Corps evaluates all the impacts related not only to expanding Halligan, but also to several different water supply alternatives and each of their corresponding impacts but we're getting ready to achieve the first big milestone in the federal permitting process with the release of the Draft Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS, in 2019. 
The draft will be available for public review and comment. Fort Collins Utilities is developing concepts to mitigate impacts that may result from the Halligan project, and we will release these as a report at the same time as the draft EIS. That report will also be available for public review and comment. Feedback from the public will be considered in a final EIS and mitigation plan. If permitted, final design and construction will follow, and the enlarged reservoir could be operational by 2026. At Fort Collins Utilities, we take great pride in delivering high quality and uninterrupted water supply today, tomorrow, and 50 years from now. This project balances water supply needs and environmental enhancement and is a project that will greatly benefit our community.